Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Prize Picks. Testing my skills on Prize Picks this football season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn 10 bucks into 250 bones with just a few taps. Prize Picks is really simple to play. You just make your picks and you submit your entry. It takes less than a minute if you're doing it right. Look, Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Prize Picks offers weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts like Taco Tuesday each Tuesday. Who doesn't love Taco Tuesday? Prize Picks discount select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. Prize Picks, you got to get on. It's so much fun. It's so easy and intuitive to use their system. Trust me, jump on prize picks. You're going to have a good time. Go to prizepicks.com slash spitballers and use the code spitballers for a first deposit match up to $100. That's prizepicks.com slash spitballers, code spitballers for a first deposit match up to $100. Prize picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Nice. Okay. Okay. Welcome into the Spitballers. Okay. Courtesy of Jason Moore. Mm, bringing you in with a little vocal drumming. <laughs> a little ditty I call which, the scat. Which drum were you? I was the... <laughs> I was the... Uh, I was the... Uh, the, uh, the Low hat. I was the top hat. <laughs> I was the... I was the yeah. Oh, the high hat? The high hat. There it is. Oh, yeah. that's usually like a... Yeah. You were more of a blat tat tat though. Right, which would be more of the... <laughs> snare drum, which would be more of the snare drum, you know. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's, you know, okay. snare and a, a snare yeah, and a hi hat and um, you know, musical. little kick, little kick drum <laughs> down at one of those. Hmm. Okay, I'm a mu- I'm a music man, Mike. I Just, I know, I yeah. know. <laughs> Very nice. Um, episode one eighty seven. <gasps> oh, oh, you murdered that scat. Mm. Very oh, nice. I love it. We are drafting the worst foods to eat in the car. I can't wait for this draft. It's it's so ridiculous. I like drafts that I can visualize. And each you got 12 picks today, and I'm going to visualize you eating them in the car, and it's going to be funny. Uh, <laughs> I, I will say this. When I, was, I hope that this draft goes as well as how entertained I was thinking of the food. I'm telling you. Because making my list, I was like, that would I, I had a blast. And you could almost, I mean, you could almost do this draft in reverse, to, or in the inverse of it. Like there are foods that are really good to eat in the car. Oh, absolutely. Churros. Crunch, crunch wrap. So Crunch? Oh, yeah. Talk about crunch wrap that are good to eat in the car. Well, I know it's delicious in the car, but really? Oh, it's it's made to eat on the move. It's all wrapped in. It comes in a bag where you don't have to take... Oh, tr- look. Tr- just trust me on this one. Okay. Crunch wrap Supreme is a good mobile uh, food... Yeah, well, I mean that's fine because Andy's car is covered in cinnamon Churro and sugar. Yeah. Have you have you ever not got something because of how messy it will be in the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so certainly. we're drafting the worst items really today. Yeah, there's like I don't want to eat like big taco supremes on the drive. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, you have the first pick, so yeah, yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll, we'll get see. into it. We'll we have Would You Rather and Is This Real Life on the show today. You can check us out spitballerspod.com. Support the show. You can also tell your friends, Mike. You are smirking. I just, I'm. Look, are you it, thinking is, about the draft? It no. Is look is is life real? We'll find out. Oh, so you like the the story you're sharing with us? I just, I, you know, you are. You cannot control your <laughs> smile right now. I can't wait. That's going to be fun. But uh, let's start here. Would you rather? All right, Smalls from Patreon. Would you rather have to pay fifty dollars every time you brush your teeth, okay, or never brush your teeth again and receive two hundred thousand dollars a year? If you choose the first option, how often do you think you would choose to pay up for a brushing? I love this question because okay. you would be doing some 
economic decision making with your teeth. We got some. Uh, got to set some ground rules here. Yeah. Mouthwash is out. Gum. That's no. where I was going to say. Yeah, Wait, what is the line? I, what do you I, mean? Well, because the 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 question here is so like you can't clean your teeth in any way, shape, or form. Well, you but gum be- doesn't clean your teeth. Gum oh, just gum. gives you gives you fresh At least breath. That, the one one out of five dentists agrees. Gum doesn't matter. You, you don't have to bring gum. up gum. You can chew gum. You can not chew gum. Okay, so I can have fresh breath with nasty rotting teeth. Correct. Okay. And pain from the cavities and uh, plaque everywhere that isn't cleaned up by your trident and those. Sales pitches. What if we found out you could all you had to do was chew gum? Oh, and it's big. big what like big what dentist? if? Yeah, what if the what if big dentist mm-hmm. they had such a, a grip on your dental health that it turns out you really only big, have it's to, big bristles. Big. <laughs> okay, courtesy of Al Borman sure. with that one. But what if it turned out? Because we've had the articles come out that big floss was what flossing is bad. It's just it doesn't do what they say it does. Really? Oh, I have yeah. not read such articles. Oh, yes. How are you supposed to know whether anything does what it says it does anymore, huh? This, How are you supposed to figure this, this out, real Mike? Life? Is this real? <laughs> I, I I know this. I, I I think I've said it on this show. Maybe it was uh, somewhere else. I know for a fact that dentists have conferences with people that are trained to train dentists on how to get you into plans. Uh, it's not like your teeth are writing letters to your body saying every six months on the dot, you must clean me. This has been designed for us, right? And maybe the answer is really every three months. Maybe the probably not. Otherwise, we'd be doing it. Maybe it's every nine months. Maybe it's every two years you get a cleaning. Dentists. Mike, I don't think you've ever been to a dentist. I was going to say, what if you're riding the lightning <laughs> over here <laughs> and you are a one time a day brusher, which... Uh, I you're d- a morning or yes. you're a night. Yes, I'm a morning brusher. Uh, oh. I do I do not subscribe to big floss, but I do have one of those uh the fancy flossing the the water the water pick. Which yeah. you, you turn you turned me onto that it, as it, well. Like because after you after you do it, look, my teeth feel great. I mean, like my mouth feels very fresh in the morning after I hit yeah I hit it with the uh, the water and the brushing, but. You've been have, riding dirty with the old I dentist have, trips. I haven't been to a dentist in probably 20 years. So. And I'm sure, like, I feel it. There are, I know there's cavities <laughs> in here. Don't get me wrong. I know they're there. There are two ways that you can. <laughs> I thought you were. I really, like he's really gonna double thought down on you, feeling were just, great. you were just fine and you're doing okay. And that dentistry is a racket. No, for for the most part, it's a disaster. <laughs> but definitely in the last few years, like every once in a while, a bite will come down. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, I lost tooth there's, there. There's something going on there. I should probably have checked out in like the next twenty or so years. <laughs> so there are two ways to play it at this point right. for you, Mike. There is the can I make it till death? <laughs> because that's one way. The other way is I've seen dead skeletons. They got teeth. Right. That's um, they're doing just fine. Wonderful research. Not yeah. in the life department, but in the teeth department. The other way is you you ride this out, but then you end up in a dentist when you're sixty and they're doing so much work. You're doing implants, you're getting them all That's yanked. That's just dentures. At that you, you know what I mean? Like right. you're gonna ride it until you're like, take my mouth out, give me a new mouth. You know how great my teeth will look then? Pretty perfect. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I can tell you, like, I know people that have had to have so much dental work, and it... Bad bad genetics. See, I said that, too. It could be. (laughs) So, but there was an actual question about... So, essentially... $50. You you have to pay to brush your teeth or never brush your teeth, but you get $200,000. When I skip a brush, like a brushing... Right. Because I'm mostly a a once-a-day person, too. I do it at night. And I know everyone's like, oh, yeah, we yeah. all do it twice a day. We're gross. Oh, I no, get it. No, they no, they don't. I do it once well yes. at night. And if I fall asleep on the couch and I forgot, and I do that, I will f- I will notice. That's that's the a gu- danger of the night the, of the night brush. The gums will Oh, you're right. You're right. It is. See, I I don't sleep through my brushing. I probably do it twice a day. Um <laughs> But the gums will notice, right? Right. And so I'm just thinking of that in the context of this fifty dollar fee. Like I that's a lot of money. I can't that's a lot of money. I can't leave see, I'm a I'm more of a morning brusher. I cannot fathom leaving the house without brushing my teeth. That that like d- just is not possible. But if I do that every day, if I say, Oh, you know, I'm I'm leaving and I have to brush my teeth 
and and I don't do it at night, that's eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars a year to pay to brush my teeth in the morning every single day. Mm. That is a lot, and it's more if you're the double brusher. If you wanted to pay for morning and night, obviously. Alternatively, I have two hundred thousand dollars right. to cover my dent. What? How much is my dental expenses? Ten grand a year max? I don't know. You it, mean if you don't brush? Yeah, it's gonna be more. It's than gonna be that. more. Okay, fifty thousand dollars every year just on my mouth. Yeah, I'm netting a hundred and fifty thousand. If money's all that matters, sure. But you're you're a wreck. I mean, you got teeth missing. You got work that needs to be done. I know you joke about dentures. You don't want denture life. Denture life is not a good life. Yeah. Everyone knows. It's like a toupee. Right. And then, so you can go pay for implants, but, but that's a lot of pain, and you don't even like needles. Super buff jaw. Super Because you're going to be hitting that gum hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's you're going to have like- I will have gum at all times. You'll be able to flex your jaw muscles. Do you think- Pete Carroll, head coach of the Seattle Seahawks. Yes. He does not brush his teeth. That's why he's always chewing gum. That's an interesting question. If, and, if, and at his age, he's got to have dentures. If people by now. are chronic gum chewers, is it because they don't want to brush? I mean, I have never. It's, it's, this is opening my <laughs> eyes. Al Borland said, I feel like night brushers are worried about their teeth health, morning brushers are worried about breath. And that might be true because I have. I can count on one hand how many times I've had gum because of the breath. Is that why people chew gum? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just to I have better breath? You've I been don't. that paranoid about your breath? Uh, I have not chewed a piece of this, gum this for a, a reason other than my breath <laughs> since Juicy Fruit in the eighth grade. Like, those are delicious. I used that, to chew gum that for- That was a seven seconds of oh, just- Oh, yeah. So when so someone incredible. says, would you like a piece of gum, they offer you a piece of gum. That means you your breath think- stinks. Oh, they think you're... No, when oh, yeah, someone yeah, yeah. offers you a yes. piece of gum, that means your breath stinks. Yes, 100%. False. Mm. I'm just saying, like, if someone's... They're getting a piece of gum out for themselves, that's when they sometimes offer it. But that's that, the move. Right, that is the that's move. That's the move. You don't you, you don't pull out a packet of gum... Say, you want a piece of gum? Just because your friend has stinky breath, you have to... Uh, you have to... You have to inception. Oh, 100%. You have to get the, the the idea is in their mind. Oh, of course I wanted a piece of gum because you're chewing it and it looks delicious. Oh, you when... want one too? You want, <laughs> you want one too, bud? I just, I, was, I had this out for me, but um, you want one? I. <laughs> no, you don't. Are you sure? You, are you sure? Because I got it right here. It's like in my hand already. I'm chewing it's it. Just, this is not, it's like five sets of gum. Oh, so delicious. This gum so good. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Here, just take one. Just take one anyways. If you don't brush at night, that means your breath really stinks in the morning. Correct. Because, I mean, it already, people who brush at night, their breath stinks in the morning. Correct. So you're cooking up a... Right. I think, I think you've got a mold. You but, might have mold in your mouth in the but morning. But you made the point. You brush at night. You wake up. You got nasty morning breath. Yeah, and, and but then at, I eat and I'm fine. But at what point is nasty morning breath uh, from from brushing? You brush at night, you have nasty morning breath. Compare that against I didn't brush, so I have nasty morning breath. Like, what is the difference? It's Nothing. just it's unpleasant. It's I'm terrible. I'm just thinking you you probably. I don't want to smell it. That's I think all. what we're learning here is we should brush our teeth twice a day. <laughs> like, for $100 a day. Don't buy into big dentistry, man. No, look, <laughs> the, I expected you, a look, tooth to fall out while you said it. The actual question, there is a no-brainer answer here. I'm taking the 200000 and I will pay for the dental uh, bills. I'm not paying twenty to $40,000 a year to brush my teeth. I will receive $200,000. What's your price? $10 uh, a brush? Sure, $10? Well, ten, ten dollars a brush every other day. Would you yeah. go every other day then? No, no, no. I, no I, What's I, your I, price for every day, and how and how much would you space the fifty? Let's say you're locked into fifty times every brush. That's just it. This I has now become okay. a this has become a, a situation room. You have to pay fifty times every time you brush. How often do you brush? I'm skipping weekends. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, you're just home. You're yeah, just home. I'm. You know. Uh, so you're two fifty a week. Yeah. One brush a day. That's right. That's right. That's why you got to pay an extra 10 bucks for toothpaste. Oh, man. This is <laughs> a, big bristles of racket out there. Mike, do you have a, an official answer? 200,000 is a lot. <laughs> That's a, a lot. lot of quiche. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Uh, I'll take the money. 
And okay, the, and then just deal with the ramifications. And what? Well, was your to be selection? to be fair, other people have to deal with my ramifications. <laughs> <laughs> what was your answer? Andy? You will look bad. To be clear, no, we, I will smell bad. No, you will look bad too. Maybe you don't brush your teeth. That's disgusting. Uh one hundred percent locked in whitening gum every day. Mm-hmm. Ah, that's a loophole. Yeah, we, we you're established gonna have, the rules. That's why you're said, gonna be gross. You make gross pants with plaque all over your teeth. Your gum. Oh, get, I'm covered go, in plaque right now. How much co- do you drink <laughs> coffee every day? I do. Yeah, you don't brush your teeth. You know how yellow your teeth are gonna be. You not. You will have yellow. You'll teeth. start. You, you just drink your coffee through straw. <laughs> that's right. That's right. No teeth. No teeth <laughs> that's touching. Right. No teeth touching well, with the what coffee. What was your answer? I didn't. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> then take the money. All right. Jordan from the website, would you rather have the Avengers defend you or the ju- against the Justice League or the Justice League defend you against the Avengers? I mean, <laughs> okay. Uh, Dumb question. Super dope. Well, hold on. Hold on. Name every member of the Justice League for me. Every member of the Justice League. You got Superman. You got Batman. Mm-hmm. You got Green Lantern. Aquaman. You got Aquaman. You got Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. And that's okay. That's the. F- and that's they're all. I, I, I think to be clear, they're all super depressed. I think there are actually more that's in the, the official. That's the core. Though. That's the. Is core. Robin a part? No. <laughs> Get out of no, here. No, Robin, Robin would never be led in the justice. Yeah, thing. it's like this one. This group's for the grown-ups here. Robin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and yeah, then, the the Avengers. Okay, well, hold on. No, so then, the Avengers. Are we going, it's the movie Avengers, like the core group? Sure. So we got Thor. We got Iron Man. Mm-hmm. We got uh, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Hulk. Um, Captain America. Why Captain are we America. telling people who the Avengers are? But no, because we got to lay the, the, you the biggest lay. movie of all time. If you don't know, this, sto- this ain't an interesting question if you're just learning. People like to hear about the Avengers, number one. <laughs> uh yeah, I just, And I just want to know because I want it completely laid out. Because first of all, now we have six on five. Right, six Avengers. Although two of them are just people. That's okay. Great, because that's where I was going with my next question. Wait, is that Hawkeye? Uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow. We no, no. I got another question oh, for you. Okay, okay. Because uh, this was a, a good friend of ours in the football business. I saw him, you know, getting some clicks because he put out some uh, some bait on Twitter talking about what is and what is not a superhero. Is Batman? actually a superhero of course yeah. why because he fights crime it, and not, that's all it takes to be a crime to be a superhero in a suit that's all it takes to be a vigilante i think to be a superhero in the words of ariel he's got gadgets and gizmos aplenty and so, so that's all it just takes I went from respecting your answer to, <laughs> to not so quickly Perfect. perfection but the point is here is like okay then Iron Man is not a superhero. That would be the follow-up. Is Iron Man actually a superhero? I stand by my reason. You 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 fight crime, you fight for justice, and you wear a suit. That is all you have to be able to... And you have to succeed at it. So you don't need a superpower no. to be a superhero. No, you do not. No, you do not. I agree. I agree. Interesting. Yeah. Inter- so your definition of superhero is you fight crime... But just in a, in a alter cool ego suit, alter ego. You do have to have an identity. So as secret a, identity, not secret, just an identity that isn't yours. Right. Aquaman it, it is. Aquaman does not. have No, but they don't say Steve from the ocean. They it's Aquaman. <laughs> so he's got a separate oh, identity. So you, so you have like a cool name. You have to have a name, a suit, and fight a crime. superhero name. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the answer to the question is the Avengers. You want the Avengers defending you. Oh, no, you. Bruce is here. <laughs> you, you, want, you want the Avengers defending you. And Bruce, they- man! Bruce, man! Yeah, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Um, you want the Avengers <laughs> defending you because you're on the side of fun. You're on the side of good. You're on the side of joy. They've got jokes. Higher grossing films. Higher grossing films. Better uh, cinematic universe. I hate that you're you teased you might, this out and it was totally worth it. You might lose uh, because Superman. That's where. Okay. Superman was, wins. Like you're going to die. But I want to be on the. I want you to, have Thor though. I want to die on the side that is right. Then live on the side that is wrong. Thor can compete with Superman. No. Just on the basis of being from another planet. No, and wait a minute. I don't, 
I'm not even sure. They've got the Green Lantern too, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. what does he do? Anything Someone he wants. Explain to me the Green Anything Lantern. Thing he you wants. wear the ring. The name's kind of lame. You wear the ring. And you are part of the Lanterns, which I believe is a uh, like an intergalactic mm-hmm. policing type of a situation. Okay, and so people are into this. Got and it. And your superpower as, uh, as a Lantern, or at least the green ones, because there are other colors of the Lantern. The Green Lantern is whatever you imagine you can create with the power of the ring. So you're like, I would like a machine gun right now. Boom, you so now have kind a machine of, gun. He's basically one of the superheroes with the hacks. Right. So he can do yes. whatever. He like, can do like if you're a time travel, like there's a superheroes that I can don't just, think he can time travel. Would like from remember the show Heroes? There was a guy that could just always move time, and you mm-hmm. were like, yeah, but because that, that was his superpower. Green right. Lantern's superpower is not time travel. No, it's, but it's, I'm saying it's a cheat code. Yeah, Andy's point is it's just a game breaker. If you can travel in time, like you break every, you can just solve every problem. Which is why, so you have Superman and you have the Flash, which I will die on that hill that the Flash is is the same thing as time is, travel is more powerful than Superman. You will die on the hill? Yes, I will. That's super speed. No, that's dumb. Super speed. Well, Superman has super everything. speed. That's why. That's why not, it's dumb. Not, but he's not faster than the Flash. He doesn't Does need it? to be faster. He can go back in time. <laughs> there, there is. Is that the rotation of the Earth theory? That, that, I don't know that that's canon. All right. So <laughs> this is the nerdiest, the deepest we've ever gotten on any topic, and I love it. Um, I could do this for hours, and I think we should come out with another podcast because this is great. But for everyone not tuning in to the comic book lures, um, my final answer is I will die with the Avengers. I will, too. I, the Justice League would win a fight. Yeah, of course. And it, would. It, it hurts me to say that because the Avengers are way cooler. Yeah, Do you are. know how boring your life's going to be living with those DC? At least they'll be alive. They'll just be narrating your life in slow motion. Darkness. All right. this. Yeah. Stop talking that way, <laughs> Bruce. Stop talking like what? I'm going to call you <laughs> Bruce, man. Bruce, man. <laughs> All right. Grizzly Adams from Twitter. Would you rather be a samurai, a knight, or a Viking? Ooh. So. Oh. Fundamentally, my first thought here is that one seems more heroic to me than the other. Yeah, the knight. The knight. Really? That seem now the samurai comes in number two. I, say, I think the samurai that's pretty heroic. That's more noble. Well, no, not more. No, noble. not more noble than a knight because samurais. Uh, you, it, knights are noble. Knights are heroes. Knights yes. are defenders. Samurais so are, are samurai. no, Samurais are noble. Samurais are defenders. They're very similar. And a samurai, I believe, can actually fight where a knight can just be covered in gigantic armor. A knight would beat a samurai, I think. No, a samurai would win, Uh, for sure. Listen, it's really going to depend on the individual. There are knights that would lose to a samurai, and there are knights that would beat a samurai. The the armor is... Could a Viking win in this situation just due to ferocity and and alcohol consumption? It Uh, is possible. It is definitely possible, though the Vikings, the Vikings are the opposite are, of a knight. No, <laughs> no ar- armor, no honor. They are just going to Valhalla. Yeah, they they kind of took what they wanted. And they, but even they, though knights, I guess, kind of did that too. They want to die. Vikings? Yeah. No, I think they I mean, they're live. okay with it. I think that all. I think a knight and a There's samurai a nobility are as well. To that. Yeah. No, I agree. They're like on on the you field said of a knight battle. is as well as what. The honor of uh, honor and death for all three, you think? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think that 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 is the one thing the, they all like, have in common, like, other than propensity to kill. Like in their individualized group, like to uh, to die on the field of battle would be an honor. Mm. That is that is a noble death. Now this question is not who would win in a fight or what is better. It's this what question you'd rather is, be. What would we rather be? So okay. like you could still be like, hey, I'm gonna be a Viking. I'm a knight. That's, you, oh yeah, that makes it. You're, are you a paladin? <laughs> I want to be. <laughs> I want to be horseback, yeah. and I want to be, uh, you know, a defender. That's as close. The knight is the superhero of the Middle Ages. That's as close as you get. In in, in Europe, I mean, I feel like a samurai would be like that's very fine. similar over in Asia. Yeah, but what do they ride? <laughs> I don't that I was gonna ask, do did did samurais act do they have horses? Yes. I believe they had dragons. <laughs> from what I've the movies I've seen. Um, Especially the one with Matt Damon. 
What was my, he doing? My in go-to the- source for Asian history <laughs> yeah. is Matt well, Damon. Well, no, sometimes sometimes it's Tom Cruise. Don't what? don't forget Tom Cruise. What are we doing? We Come got on. problems. Um, but seriously, do they ride anything? Because that could change the equation. They ride the wind. No, I, I don't. I don't think they do. I don't know. The, I honestly do. They don't ride. Know. Do sam, do we? Can I feel like the, I do feel samurai like, do, ride horse. I feel like there's horses. Why involved. are you? Why are you not pluralizing them? Do, do, <laughs> you said, Wait, you said do be, samurai ride horse. Yeah. Why did you say that? I don't know. I, I didn't even understand what you were criticizing me of until I said it in my head again. Do samurai ride horse? Wait, is sam, are samurai? <laughs> Are samurai, <laughs> are samurai plural samurai? I think Samurais. So. I, yeah. I would put the S on. That's what, what, okay. Another might, question. What, might, is, <laughs> what is the plural? It's, it's it, in it fact, might be samurai. the samurai. Oh, it could be ride uh, horse. The, the, <laughs> the, no, so I was right because I was talking about one. Okay. Uh, the the do samurai. I don't know what's going well, if you're on, but it is the one, plural. The plural is the plural is there's no samurai. Okay. The samurai. Yeah. Okay, we got somewhere. All We've right, got well, one piece of information. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in night horses were their special weapons. Speaking of samurai, so they both have horses. I'm I'll locking in a Viking. There's okay. a there's a lot. Of, Are we gonna be all three different? In there's this a one? lot of boat riding when you're a Viking. That's a fine. lot of rowing. A lot of rowing. Yeah, he should be high. There's up a lot the- of partying and doing. You know, look, I Viking I think, things. Yeah, there's <laughs> other things. <laughs> doing Viking great. things. I've I've watched. I just I just finished watching um, Lost Kingdom, like a, about a year ago. Vikings, which was a great show, and the Lost Kingdom, which deals with Vikings. So, like, I'm more in that world right now, and I don't want to have all the the rules of knighthood. There are and there samurai, I believe. Oh, and same same there. Incredible yeah. Incredible rules cuz you serve the emperor. Now the believe. Vikings unfortunately only have a square table. No round table. That is that is true. They have not mastered carpentry no. quite the same. Uh Mike, do you have one that you're that is romanticized more for you here? Now, uh, they're all cool. Definitely. They're all they're all cool. I think I would go with the samurai though. If the Vikings were from How to Train a Dragon, that's the one I would go with. But oh well, yeah, because I want to ride a dragon. Yeah. That's why you went samurai. Well, one of these guys <laughs> can a knight ride a dragon? Because it seems like only Viking and samurai have that option. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. We have all chosen a different one, Al. So you need to weigh in. I'm going knight. Okay, Brooksy, going samurai. Okay, so we got knows. one Viking to rule yes. them all. Yes. Give you me you won't be alive long, but you'll have a great life. That's exactly right, one hundred percent. I will... no, I wasn't talking about this situation. Oh I just... no, I know, <laughs> just me. I won't be alive much longer, but my life is pretty fantastic. Uh, do we have time for one more of these? We sure do. Okay, Darren from the website. Would you rather be able to grow a full head of hair, but not be able to grow any facial hair, or be able to grow facial hair and be bald? So I have a problem. On my neck, and what's whoa you, on your neck? Well, is it is it the is tumor? my it is my neck. <laughs> the, on the neck area is my neck, and okay. the more look, this is a problem. The more it's men, it's a family thing. Yeah, it really is. We don't. So have, Ron has this problem. Ron has this problem. Does I don't know he if he know? knows it. No, I don't know. <laughs> uh, he listens, so you know. Hey, pops, uh, <laughs> we got a problem. We got a problem in our. Family tree. I kind of see it in even even in my young sons. It's not like Uh-oh. like I'm overweight, right? What? And so <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you for your shock. <laughs> uh, so I've got you know some extra neck. My my chin, my jawline, and like the chin is they call not, that bonus neck. Yeah, I've got bonus <laughs> neck, and the problem is even when I was thin. You still had bonus neck? I still neck? had bonus neck. I like, really? like a little it just it's just not the most flattering area. So the beard helps a ton here. So right. you didn't I, know I've known you for a long time. You didn't always have a beard. No, but I, I did always Adams have a beard. <laughs> I, I didn't always have a beard, but I didn't have a really great jawline. Even when mm. I was in great shape, I had kind of that little jowl <clears throat> that I They call you know, that Ron's jowl, right? Right. <laughs> Ron's jowl. Um so I, I have to shave my head here, have a nice beard, and really the truth is that's what I'm going to be in a couple of years. So this question is just, 
uh, would you like to do that now? And I would say, sure. I can't imagine. I mean, I, I think I'd be okay without the facial hair and keep the head of hair up upstairs because that's normal or, or more normal. Wait, it, wait, which is normal? To have a head of hair and then you just, you don't have facial hair. I feel like the, the, a lot of people don't have, I mean, a lot of men shave their face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I think as you get older. Not on accident, like on purpose. Uh, as you get older, it would be more common to have at least some facial hair while lacking a head of hair. And obviously, you wouldn't be like yes. cue ball bald. More common, but do you can you imagine how impressive it'll be when I'm, you know, 83 and I've got like a the, thick head of hair? Yeah, it does mm. say you get a full head of hair in exchange for not being able to grow facial Although hair. Although, does that, that, that would be really weird after a certain point, though, right? Because no one's going to believe it's real. Right. Like if a I'm like 93 year old years a, old and I've got a, a John a Stamos mane. Yeah. Then you're wearing a wig. <laughs> right. And they'll be like, Even no, if you're pull not, on it. Yeah. They'll think yeah. you are. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just already prepared for no hair up top. So. Okay. Mike, final answer for you. You're, <sighs> you've been bearded as long as I know you. I, I would keep the facial hair. If if it really came down to it, of you you go bald. I gotta make yeah. I've, How close have you been? Like have you? Oh, got, I've I've been shaved head many times. You have times. been shaved head. Yeah. So you know what shape is underneath there. Yeah. The the head the shape of my head is okay. It's, it's all right. It's definitely passable. I can be a shaved head guy. Face with no beard, not as much. I don't have a I don't have bonus neck. Right. I have, but but you don't have a strong. You but don't I don't feel have like you got yeah, the strong enough the, chin. The chin is very small. Mm. Okay. And then I'd have to look into the, the chin implants. And Wait, all. is there Ooh. a chin implant? Oh, yeah, brother. Dude, maybe I'll <laughs> shave. Because I think that would help my bonus neck. I they think also it's... can de-neck. What? <laughs> Wait, for real? They could do whatever you want, man. Yeah. I didn't know. You could de-neck? It's oh, only 50-50 yeah. how it works out. Okay, but someone give me the, begin the procedure. That's fine. Someone give me the name of this procedure because I'm sure it's not called de neck. <laughs> no, they're, um, they're my... if I can get the medical term, I will take a couple weeks off and I'll be back. <laughs> um, post it's, a ja it's, a, it's, it's actually a jowloscopy. A jowloscopy. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We are moving on. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. Do you ever find that just as you're trying to fall asleep, your brain suddenly won't stop talking? Do your thoughts start racing right before bed or at an inopportune moment? Well, one great way to make those racing thoughts go away is to talk them through. Therapy gives you a great place so that you can get out the negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace. I am a huge supporter of talk therapy. When you have those problems that they're just too big for you to handle, you got to find someone to talk through those issues, and talk therapy is one of the best ways that you possibly can do that. Look, if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Ballers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Ballers. Is this real life? All right. I will share my story with you first. Please uh, do. We are each uh, reflecting on the modern times. Mike's smile. I want that to kind of be the punctuation mark of this segment. I want to find that out. But my story is just kind of ridiculous. It happened out here in Arizona. And here's the headline. Oh, New York City man okay. rescued twice in two days oh. on Arizona hikes. <laughs> oh, no. So what? a New York City man needed to be rescued twice on consecutive days while hiking in a northern Arizona mountain range. Those big city fellas. And now he's urging other people to pay more attention to the weather this winter. Oh, my. After God. the second time. After the second time. <laughs> Wait, so, this winter? He got stuck in the winter in Arizona? He went, the thought process to me of being helicoptered off a mountain, rescued by actual you know professionals 
only to return to said mountain next day. I got this. To do it again. You gotta conquer it. To then need to call 911 oh again. Oh my gosh. How bad was he feeling the oh, decision on day two to be like, Did he oh. bring a disguise? He's <laughs> <laughs> got the Groucho I'm Marx I'm glasses. a totally different hiker. He's, he's just grabbing the mud and rubbing it on his face to hide... Oh, man. Or, or he's just taking a rock and bashing his leg. I mean, yes. it's like, no, it's just totally a broken leg this time. Now, from what I understand on this story, if I want to try to paint it in the right picture for him, I think what he did is he went out the next day and started earlier than the day before when he got stranded. Okay. But he just miscalculated again. Wow. <laughs> Which I think they charge you for those rescues. Fool, I believe fool so. Me, fool me once. Yeah, so, I, I think that's an expensive hike. So um, uh, now one of the people that helped him, they did say, I really respect Phil's perseverance. I hope he's able to make it to the top someday. Well, <laughs> maybe he did on day three, right? We didn't, yeah, so, we didn't hear if he called again. Unfortunately, he did expire on day three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, oh, no. let's, so that's my real life story. My article um, is perfect for today's episode, episode 187. Oh, no. Yeah, this oh, is no. it's an article in Comeuppance. Rooster with <laughs> knife kills owner during banned cockfight. This is... What? 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 Cockfighting is illegal. Right. Because that's awful to make these... Uh, these make the roosters, roosters fight roosters each other. Fight each other to the death. But in these underground rings, they still do it. With Except knives? A apparently, they, they have, they've taken it to the next level. And they have uh, given oh, roosters I'm out. knives. Wing? Do they go wing or foot? I have to believe it would be wing. <laughs> I no, I feel no, like it's a, easier it, to tape it onto the foot. That's what because the roosters fight with their feet and their talons. Do they really? I yes. Thought they, they didn't really. Yeah, getting slapped, they don't peck each other. Getting slapped with a feather is oh, not going to do very much. Okay, so looking at the article, it was indeed tied to the leg. Yes, <laughs> I <laughs> thought it would be the wing. They fight. So they. Uh, there's so many layers here. <laughs> I, thought was, I thought it would be the wing because they're flapping and slashing. But <laughs> but apparently I am wrong. So they but then he killed the owner? He killed the owner. Oh, I mean the Yeah, what? it was it's pretty pretty sad. Um Was but the owner thinking this can't be happening at the very end? I have to believe that this man did not want to have that rooster kill him. Um <laughs> But, yeah, uh, unfortunately, uh, got a groin slash. Oh, oh, so it cut an artery. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, r moral of the story is if you're going to have a rooster fight, don't give it a knife because they become far more dangerous. Okay. Oh, man. Well, that's ridiculous. I R.I.P. Yeah. Mike? I, have the tur I have the turkey neck. Right. Maybe they should. Maybe that's where they should attach the knife. <laughs> What is that? The j the uh, giblet. We've oh, you know, is that yeah, what we? I think came that's up with? not at all. We, no, no. Uh, we had discovered that at one point. And I've yeah. forgotten. It was a funny word. Pretty sure it's. All <sighs> right. So my article, Andy. I, I'm sure you've been hit with this one quite a few times on on the Twitter sphere as well. It's uh, a snood, isn't it? Oh, is that what it was? I'm seeing the waddle. waddle. There's a waddle and a snood. What's They're near each other. Mm. I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> So anyways, right. on yes, Twitter, what? people have been tagging me in this article, making sure that I was aware of what's going on. And I saw that you were also tagged because the East Coast oh, yeah. <gasps> of the United States yes. of America, I don't, there's a problem. There is. There is a problem. You, ever want, you feel better about living in Arizona now? I, a little bit because there is a, I believe it is juro, a juro problem because there not is- Not a churro problem, no, Jason. No, it's definitely not a churro problem, but they're large and eye-catching, bright yellow, blue- and red about the size of a human adult's palm <laughs> and there's millions of them right and i'm talking about the east coast could soon be invaded by parachuting spiders <laughs> i didn't know the parachuting part yes because they can in fact uh they form parachutes from their webs and they could travel up to 50 for 50 to 100 miles away with the <laughs> with the wind and they just land on you well, they could land. No, they they say they're not harmful. <laughs> if you guys knew <laughs> what is happening to my body right now, <laughs> if you could feel what I am feeling. I will tell you, Mike, the other day Jason told me that for the first time in years, 
he actually had a nightmare. Oh, no. Where he woke up and couldn't get back to sleep because he was so afraid. Was it about the spiders? And it was about spiders. It was just uh, thousands of tarantulas climbing out of these holes everywhere, and I could not get back to sleep. Well, you should be this... comforted. These are parachutes. Oh, yeah. They, they parachute, and they do have a 77% higher heart rate, which means that when they're exposed to like low temperatures, they're not as likely to die. So if you're hoping so they're Im- if you're, immortal, if you're hoping that the cold <laughs> is going to uh, take them out, but I'm feeling weird, but and I'm not you, Jason. But the scientists have said that they are they're not dangerous. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they. Are. You stupid scientists! <laughs> you don't know how spiders work. <laughs> well, you think know, they, they've said that they're like they can't. These are the ones that actually can't bite you because they're. Their Look, jaws are too legs. small. No, they, that's legit. Oh, is it? They legit have too small of that things. That doesn't matter. They're palm-sized. <laughs> They're palm-sized spiders. Do you know the, the a much uh, more dangerous situation in America is, is heart conditions. <laughs> heart attacks kill so many people, and these spiders are going to... Just uh, heart attack? wreck the East Coast. I pray they Well, stay just the listen East. to Nancy Hinkle, who says it's wonderful. This is exciting. Spiders are our friends because they'll be catching What do you think of the, Nancy? They'll oh, be catching Nancy's going to get it. <laughs> Look, the spiders are coming for Nancy right now. They are going to send a message. I mean, that's one of those things you just don't say out loud <laughs> because you know that... The, you're gonna you're gonna get yours, Nancy. <laughs> you would have a problem with my wife because she has prohibited certain killing of spiders due to her uh, affections for them. Because is it because they take out the other they bugs? Take out, they just do it. They just doing what they do, Mike. They just part of nature. They just live, and they're just trying to do their jobs. Yeah, I mean, I'm in when I smash one, I'm doing my part of nature as well, protecting yeah. your children. Yeah, from evil. <laughs> if I had a magic lamp who needs eight legs come on i I think i i genuinely think i would spend one of my wishes on removing all spiders from the face oh man you'd have so many flies i don't care what it would do to the ecosystem (laughs) or the circle of life or the the environment whatever repercussions happen i am happy to have them if spiders are gone if you had to the the local wizard comes along and says for the rest of your life you have to have an animal in your backyard and you had to choose between 10 tarantulas or 10 tigers. Which 10 tigers which... without a doubt. Without a doubt. There's not even a close. That's not even in consideration. One tarantula or 10 tigers. Uh, 10 tigers. 10 uh, tigers for I sure. Like, I like that he has. You could hunt the one tarantula. He has. Oh, no, I couldn't. Oh, I promise that cannot happen. I could never. You could put on your night gear. I would die on my way to I it. think he has a bigger phobia of tarantulas than spiders. Like, yes, yes. From yes. zero to spiders, he goes the double amount from spiders to tarantulas. I like that we're talking about magical things that could that could come in and it's like, hey, you get a wish. And instead of, oh, I wish I weren't afraid of spiders and tarantulas. <laughs> it's kill it is, them in all. fact, no, I would like to remove them from the earth. I believe I've been given this fear for a reason, <laughs> and it is to take them out. Um, I will follow my heart, Mike. Thank you, and um, oh I will be a hero to uh, me and my kind of okay. arachnophobics. That story has been out there, and it is shocking. And the, I would not be looking forward to it. The webs are very big. I was shocked at the scale of everything. This is not going to happen for real, right? I know that I've seen yeah. the article headlines. They say no. Florida is really where they're starting. Are you going there soon? Yeah, it's, I'm. When is this supposed to happen? Genuinely, does it say in the article? I'm. This is educational. they. They crossed the Atlantic in the sky. <laughs> oh. Well, they've 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 been. Where did here. they come from? Where did these yeah, monsters? Japan. They are native to Japan. They arrived in in the United States around 2013, likely riding on a shipping container, a and cruise it, shipping container. And it, and it takes a while for the foreign, uh, you know, animal to start replicate or yeah. no, spawning and all that stuff and eventually take over they needed enough human hosts to begin, <laughs> to begin replicating oh my gosh i am done man i am absolutely done this is that is the worst most horrific article and the I, fact that it's real life is oh i may God. or may not have just made sure that brooks knew operating the cameras don't put the don't just do my own shot when I'm reading my article. If you thought COVID was fun, <laughs> wait for these spiders. All right, it's time to draft. 
Men, you don't have to choose between better hair growth and your health. Nutrafol provides a whole body health approach for men that promotes healthier hair. No drugs, no compromises, just better hair. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth, visible thickness, and visible scalp coverage. Their health growth supplements use physician-formulated, natural, science-backed ingredients. Their drug-free, patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your physical health. Go to Nutrafol.com slash men to take their hair health wellness quiz. Identify causes of your thinning hair, and Nutrafol will give you a personalized plan for better hair health through whole body wellness. They're going to target the root causes of your thinning, such as stress or hormones or environment, nutrition, lifestyle, metabolism. They are going to try to make sure they get to the root cause. You can take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code BALLERS. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash men and enter promo code BALLERS. That's Nutrafol.com slash men Promo code BALLERS. The Spitballers Draft. We are drafting the worst food. Did you just <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling them everywhere. <laughs> oh, My no. body is crawling in spiders he right now. He just scratched his leg. Yeah, just like, oh, okay, that's so smart. Uh, the worst foods to eat in the car, which I think will be very funny. Jason, you have the first pick. There are some foods that, look, it might not be conducive to highway driving. might not be conducive for uh, the old commute. The high, Let me say this. My first pick, the highway is going to be where I want it. Okay, because you want to Because I do not want stop and go traffic while trying to eat my oh, hot soup. Oh, oh, man, that was my number yeah, one pick. Of course it is, because unlike most things that could make a mess, either of your hands or your shirt, this could scald you. This is it not could. only difficult to eat. Not only two-handed, not only could stain and make a mess, but also could be very, very dangerous. You can, could you imagine like you get in a fender bender? Okay, that's that sucks. And you've <laughs> got to deal with all that. Now you got a bowl of hot soup on your crotch, just scalding away. You know, people like put soup in a thermos. It's still risky. Uh, yeah. I mean, eventually you got to open it to eat it, right? I mean, you could just you have the 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 little click gonna, button. Uh, just drink, just drink my soup. It's not. Yes, there's, there's some. Wait, you there's, drink, you're just gonna drink. How do you eat your soup, Jason? Well, I mean, with a some, spoon. There's some mass to the soup. He's. It's not broth. Wait, he didn't you, say hot broth. You only drink your soup. Like it's a liquid, so you are technically drinking it. No, well, but you. But do you use a spoon? Sometimes. Sometimes I just go right out the bowl. Mm, Even yeah, maybe for, at like, the very end. The chicken and the noodles and all that. Are the vegetables in it or whatever else is in your I'm soup? I'm talking more about tomato. Hmm. But yeah, if watch me at lunch. I'll be drinking out of the bowl. Uh, uh, I want to see if you ever use a spoon. I want to see him say, "Oh, drats!" When all of the <laughs> meat, all the meat and contents of the soup are at the bottom, and he's like, "There's no broth left." All right, I will go with what I think would be a ridiculous food to try to pull off in a vehicle, which is fondue. Oh, <laughs> I'm going with fondue because okay. fondue, by necessity, you are. You have to dip. You need a heating source of you some kind? You need to heat cheese or chocolate to a yes. hot level. Is there any other fondues? Uh, well, yeah. There's a broth where you like cook a, meat in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which you would just drink <laughs> straight That's out. called a fondue? Yeah, that is still yeah. fondue, yeah. When you're just boiling something? That is. If, if you, you, you got a stick, fondue part. Yeah. yeah. If you've got a fondue pot and you got a stick in there, yeah. But so if you're I'm at, thinking hot cheese, hot chocolate. You are going... I mean, you, every single one's a dip. you got to carry gotcha. it across the uh, the car. Well, the, and then if you spill, you are also getting scalded. That's a good pick. The drips are going to be a real problem. The drips there. are real. Because yeah, Because it's not like... Most, most things that you think are going to drip on you while you're eating in a car, they drip from where you're eating. You don't have to reach. Right. But on this, this is a, this is a, that's a real problem. I like that. That wasn't even on my list. All right. Yeah, it's, it was not on my list as well. Uh, Mike, you've got a couple of delicious picks. I do, and this first one is a 
it's known to be messy. I mean, like they, if you go to a place for this, they will often give you like a a bib. Dang, that was my next. Mm -hmm. one. And I will take barbecue ribs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was my one hundred and two yeah. as well. <laughs> because come on, the second you touch ribs, there is sauce. Not only where you grabbed it, with you can you can go thumb, index finger. It doesn't matter. There's your no whole entire hand is now covered in barbecue sauce. And for for rib noobs out there. <laughs> There's no point in trying to be careful with ribs. The better None. thing to do is just embrace it. Yes. Now, uh, so some ground rules here. You got a 20 minute drive. You got to finish what you're you're eating here. Okay. So you got to get through it all. Ribs is a, an outstanding choice. I'm right up there at the top. So I, I'm going with the, the super messy barbecue ribs. Now this one, uh, this one I'm I'm. Oh, Andy's cackling. Over I just here. thought of another one. Okay. So this one to me, like of course there are ways. You could like, oh, well, we could have it pre-prepared. But no, I'm talking about it's fresh, and you would need a tool just to get into this food. And mm. imagining someone driving down the freeway, cracking open lobster <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> was, was just so funny to me. Imagining seeing someone riding shotgun. They Absolutely. Got, they got the cracker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they got to have their lobster. Just smashing a claw open. <laughs> dip it in the <laughs> butter. <laughs> That's that was on my short list, yeah, Mike. It's on my All list. Right. Both of those picks would have been my next picks up for sure. I, next. I feel like I could go like <laughs> six or seven rounds here. Oh. I have so much. So um I think with this pick, it, it's in the same vein as the the barbecue ribs pick. It's just not made to be eaten in the car. Right. It's messy to begin with. You're gonna make mistakes. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, I'm okay. going spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti and meatballs. There's no way you are one-handing spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> Which is really what this test is. Can, yes. you, can you do the one-hand eating of I'm, spaghetti and meatballs? I'm you gonna, can try to twist yeah. the, the fork, but you got to get a meatball in there I and some I, sauce. I think I could one-hand it, you but do? I don't think I could one-hand it. From the lap? Yeah, from the lap. I think I could one-hand it, twirl, and, and eat, but I still think that the odds of me leaving that car without spaghetti sauce <laughs> on my body is... One percent, one percent chance of me escaping without marinara. <laughs> All right, so that is my pick, Jason. You are back. The key to this draft is picturing someone. Dri I'm telling driving you, it's a, so dri good driving a car, trying to eat some cheese fondue. Yeah, I mean, just, <laughs> or, a, or a full rack of yes. ribs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, so uh, I am up, and this one, this one is also. Um, funny to me because of uh, the the experience, and this probably should not be eaten in a car. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go with. Don't tell me how to live. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with a flambe. <laughs> so if you're not, if Wait, you're what's not, a flambe? If you're not familiar there's with fire flambe, involved, right? it's on fire. <laughs> this is it's basically a glazed steak that is lit on fire. So you're <laughs> driving down the car, just. Whoosh, just right in the car, right. I mean, you can't, you can't get away from this fire. There's a steering wheel here. Could you, could you light the flambe with the the old school cigarette lighter? Would that work? Uh, I think it would. I think, yeah, absolutely. What if you, you can light a cigarette, you can light a, you can light, you can light a steak. <laughs> If you can light a cigarette, you can what? light a steak. What what is done to the flambe to make it so flammable? I think it's an alcohol based glaze. So mm. you just it's gasoline. It's gasoline. Oh, delicious! Uh, but that one cracked me up. Just the idea of sure that's outstanding. Just having an open flame in the car, um, and I am <laughs> up again. What do I have? I've got hot soup. I've got flambe. Um, oh, do I want to go? funny picture do i want to go oh there's so many ways i could go here but i'm just gonna go with something i love no mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. oh this is tough this is tough you are mm. twisted i am i have i have so many options here and they're all good but i feel like whatever i'm gonna take isn't gonna be my best one i gotta really think through this <laughs> um okay yeah, think, think so, of the um, how funny it would be th think right thank the you mess um I, I, this one is so. Ah, I'm. Gonna, I'm. Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really struggling. Really, really struggling. Um, I'm gonna go <laughs> with. Um, all right. I want it. This isn't. This isn't the best thing. In, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> what is 
What's happening? Are you like simultaneously drafting and hungry and one trying to pick which one you want? Uh, yeah. What What's more delicious? Um. All right. I'm going with. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a pick here. Is what I'm yes? going to do. Okay. Um, and that pick and that pick is, is going to be. I have gone back and forth through five things. I'm going with yeah, tostadas. <laughs> we waited all that time for I, tostadas. I told you I was going to make the wrong one. I have like four better <laughs> options. I have at least four better <laughs> options on my list. Is tostada very similar to your crunch wrap? No, but that's the it's a hundred percent covered. It's the crunch right. wrap is covered. Can't you just fold it over? <laughs> no, a, cr- oh, a tostada no. is a hard, crunchy shell. Okay, so this is like. Like think about how hard it is. Genuinely, I said I won't. I won't eat like a like a uh, supreme taco on the drive because it's gonna barf out the back. Yes. But at least there, it's half wrapped. It's covered. A tostada that is. It, a, have is you a, ever, is a tostada a flat taco? It's a. It's an open faced, flat, hard, crunchy shell that you then pile up a bunch of meat, cheese, sour cream, gotcha, and everything okay. on this shell. You can't. If you eat a tostada, which is delicious, if you eat a tostada. Pro tostada. I am very pro. St- it's pro a flat, tostada. It is a flat taco. It is a flat, hard shelled, open faced taco. And if you eat one at a restaurant, look at your plate. Look at your plate sure. when you are now done. And you now there, have a yeah. taco salad um, on your plate. And so that is going to be all over you. And that okay. was a terrible pick. All right. Uh, I will go with. Are you done with yours? You did I, both he of- has one more. Oh, no, I got- went. I went flambe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's done with his round. Sorry, I wasn't trying to trick you. We're sure about that. Al, <laughs> you are I have up. a history. You're on the clock. All right, I will, uh, I'm will. i going to go with the Sloppy Joe. Mm. I oh, mean, it's on my the list. Name. <laughs> it's in the I name. I know. It's, it's right already there. a problem when you're not driving, right? <laughs> yeah. It's and not made for I made, made for dri- extra sloppy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, you can't, how many bites of a Sloppy Joe do you get before you get the first plop? Two. Two? You can get you, two. You can I make two? it two. I can You've make it made to two. it two. I've made it to two because I'm. That's probably a bad sloppy Joe. You're 100 percent right. I yeah. mean, a, a, a really well prepared sloppy Joe will never make it to two. So that's. I mean, you got a problem. Yes, yeah, sloppy. Oh. That's way better than a tostada. It, yeah, I mean, you could have saved it, tostada for your fourth because pick. sloppy Joe sauce. Yeah, that has some kind of red food coloring dye in it that if that touches. Anything mm-hmm. you're not getting that color out. I'm not sure I know what's in a sloppy Joe. Is that hamburger? Yes, I believe so. Okay. And then a seasoned sauce of some yeah. kind. Yeah, with, with red food with coloring. With red food coloring. <laughs> red number five. <laughs> All right, Mike, you are back up. You have to make your final two picks. Okay, I know one for sure. So now I'm struggling a little bit here with the second one, uh, but <laughs> but the okay. but then also I'll take the number one pick. Or not the number one overall, but the first pick I'm going to take. I'm going to take a chili cheese dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, all right, uh, a good one. Yeah, a, a good one. Because look, number one, it's like a foot long, delicious. Yeah, a chili oh. cheese dog is is great. It's also a young man's game because <laughs> like there is this is a twofer. So if you're on a road trip, number one, your car is going to be a disaster. You're going to be messy. No. And number two <laughs> is number two. 100% where I was going. I'm not sure if people will correlate that of like, if you're on a road trip and you're eating a chili dog, you're stopping on the side of the road. I hope you have one of those little kid portable toilets. Yeah, because this is going to be a blowout. And we're not talking <laughs> about your tire. I'm talking about your booty. Yes. Oh. All right. So that's a good one. Chili cheese dog. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to go. I've, I'm between two picks, but I'm going to go with the one that is. I think the funnier visual of imagining someone driving down the freeway because we're talking about it, it, imagine trying to one hand something. Yeah, you're eating this the whole drive. You I mean, can, you have to eat it the whole drive. You cannot possibly one hand this. I'm taking a good old fashioned corn on the cob. Oh, that's what I wanted. To- <laughs> that was gonna be my last pick. That was the one I wanted to take three times, and I didn't because it was so simple. But 100, percent you can't eat a corn on the cob no, with one hand. Cannot. And if it's fresh out of the the pot, it's boiling hot. <laughs> Just imagine someone who trying has to get that, some butter on who, it. Who has the actual like? Oh yeah, the tongs, the, the, the tongs, the or, corn uh, holders, yeah, I know what whatever, you're talking about. whatever they're called. Did you guys ever have like fun ones growing? Oh, up? absolutely. Oh yeah. What did you? What did you? Mine have? were corn. Mine, Mine were, were it, corn too. Oh, right. you know what, the, 
you had corn colders going Blah. in. The corn? <laughs> yeah, it was very. Um, they, they you know, the corn was attacking the corn. We had the Mickey and Minnie growing mm-hmm. up in the Disney house, of course. Did but you yeah. have to? Did you have enough for everybody, or did somebody have to oh. fight for the good ones? Nope, nope. We okay. everyone had enough. We were the, we were the house of four. So yeah. the, the four visual that out. made me laugh so much when I put that on <laughs> on my list was the idea of someone trying to eat it one-handed <laughs> because there's only one way you can eat a corn on the cob one hand. It. you got to just grip the whole buttery corn on the cob. And right. Just... And what would that look like, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Mike. <laughs> All right. That's a great pick. Is it back to me? It is. All right. Well, I, I'm i going to go a little left field here. One Dang that... it. That was my last pick. Um. And and I look, you got to eat this in the car. You got to find a way to eat it. And for some reason, I'm trying to picture somebody figuring out how to eat a whole pineapple. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think eating a whole pineapple is going to be very easy because it's already sharp. So you've got an object in the car like a pin cushion. Then you need a knife, right? You got to have a big old At butcher least. knife to to slice open this pineapple while you're driving. That's not legal. Uh, so I will go with the whole pineapple to finish it out. I believe it's been talked about probably on this podcast, but we're on one eight seven, so who knows? Uh, but the the pineapple slicer, I don't know if that's the official name of it. Do you have one of those? Yes. Oh, let me Amazon this. They're thing. awesome. And so all you have to do is you essentially you cut off the top of the pineapple, and then the tool is like a tube, and with uh okay. with, with two sharp edges, and you just screw it in. So it makes you the sc- little circles. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it uh, it cores it. Those are very inexpensive. You screw it in, and then you pull out, and then you have just fresh pineapple that's right there for you to eat. It it takes preparing a pineapple from like an arduous task to like very simple. And and what's your affiliate you- code on these? Uh, FF it, <laughs> FF it, man. <laughs> Amazon.com. Wow, they, these are very. I don't have one of these, and I need one. You yes. do need one. Oh, you've got one, Al? Oh, yeah. Not, so, not sounds a, like you're the only one that does not have one. Not a sponsor. Jason? But a you've life-changing. You've got a, a pineapple I have had one. I've had one in the past. I don't have one now, but I need to because I can... Uh, Did yours break? Yeah. Mine uh, broke. Uh, I, I had a cheap one in the broke, Now, do I too. get the one with the upgraded reinforced thicker blade? Yes. Yeah. Well, did you listen to what we just <laughs> said? They break. We, we had the cheap plastic ones that broke because I wasn't sure if it was going to be the, all that great, but it is, if you like pineapple... Okay. A life-changing tool. Would it have helped in the car? <laughs> I mean, you're still a oh, challenge. There's there's just pineapple juices everywhere. I want somebody trying to get that pineapple pineapple open without a knife in the car. Oh, just banging yeah, it on the dash, biting into it straight into the the impossible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you don't have those Tata left to pick. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Man, I I messed that one up. <laughs> I should never. I've got four better options here. Um. <laughs> All right, I am uh, I am well prepared now. I am going to take a curved uh, tostada. This is yes, uh, yes exactly. <laughs> Soft um, shell tostada. <laughs> most of these things have been either messy or d- d- yep. difficult to deal with. This is maybe neither. I think you could easily huh. eat this one handed with a fork. But there's a different problem. And when I get smell? yeah, it's the okay. smell. Okay, I don't think I want a sea bass in my <laughs> oh, very in my nice. car having a nice sticky <laughs> very nice. fillet of fish. Just oh. get into that car the next time, and oh. you're not shaking that smell for a lot of drives. No, there's maybe nothing ever worse if you than when spill you it. Get into a car. I, this fish. this happened to me this last week. We I go to take my kids to school in the morning. We go and we get in the car, and it was like whoa. Sea bass? No. <laughs> Darn it. I ain't sea bass in the car again. No, but the just, you get in a car and you're like, what is that smell? Did dad brush? I, and, and it was just so gross. And then, like, you know, there's some garbage on the floor. It's McDonald's. And it, you know, you think it might be. And, and so you take that out and you clear it. And it's like, man, I hope that there was a towel in there too. Maybe, you know, the, from like the gym. And I'm like how bad do I stink? So I take that stuff out and then I go and I, you know, later I come to work, I get back in the car. It's just awful. And then when we get home, we figured out what it was. There was a, uh, to go food from a restaurant that had been, Oh, you forgot it. It, in the had car. Been, it went under a seat. No. And so there was a hole just, but there's nothing worse than a car that just reeks. You feel like throwing up the whole yes. time. So the that's a bass, very good 
redemption pick from the Tostada. Yeah, I wanted to. Now, go I thought you were going to try to trap us and like go like some alcohol and get yourself a DUI. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that's something you don't. But that's not really eating. eating yeah. Um. Yeah, I I wanted to go cereal because I think that would be bad. But that's, it's so similar to my my hot soup. Right. Yeah. I I had uh, some other final. Cons I had s'mores. I I didn't think that that would be very easy. Um, I thought a, like a well done steak would be a problem. Oh yeah, that's It'd be funny hard to, to watch. Into. I was between corn on the cob and buffalo wings for my. Final yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I have on my list fajitas. <laughs> they come out all, uh, <laughs> and you got to make them right. They don't just come pre made. No, they, you gotta. They burn a hole in your leather. <laughs> yeah, uh, that would be a bad one. Nature made granola bars. Okay, oh this, yeah, 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 those yeah. Those yeah. are not yes. something you want to eat in a bed or a car. Because the, the best part of those is that they. Oh, they're already split for multiple people. Yes, all the time. Yeah, pre pre cut. Yeah, yeah, because you um, never open one. That's did you just have any full. others, uh, Al or my Brooksy? my simplest pick was just Cheetos. Yeah, that's not easy because they're like that's you don't eat Cheetos in the car. Powdered donuts, mm. delicious. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> a lot of a lot of messy food lists had ice cream, but I I would have no issue. Oh, an ice cream cone? I could figure that out. I don't know. That's a skill based it's <laughs> challenge. Um, Al, did you have anything that we forgot? I was just gonna go with Cheetos, but yeah. Yep. Brooksy, nothing. You guys got them. All right. What did we learn today? Well, I I'll start here while you guys think about it. We all obviously learned a lot, like we do on every episode. Yeah, we did. But I think what I learned most today is that, and and maybe this is news to you, but I think you want tostadas for dinner tonight, Jason. <laughs> Uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> um, what I learned today is that home prices are about to go up in Arizona as the entire East Coast moves west to evade the spiders taking over the continent. And I believe we cracked the case that uh, Big Bristles is just, they're just stealing your money. Big Bristles. Yeah, don't go to Watch the out. Yeah, and I've got one of those uh, pineapple cores coming, so... Oh, yes. Looking forward to that. Enjoy. That'll do it for today's show. Thank you for tuning in at Spitballer Spot on Twitter. Tell your friends about the show. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.